What's going on, everyone? So the New York Knicks suffered an absolute heartbreak, and in many ways, they were kind of like the NBA darlings, right? Going into that closing of the Pacers series, and it was like, hey, if this team was healthy, they'd easily been walked to to at least the conference finals against the the Boston Celtics, right? Like they basically had their entire team just decimated by injuries, even Jalen Brunson at the end, where it's like if everyone was healthy, the Knicks are probably in the conference finals right now. So I do think that the New York Knicks are a team that is positioned and well, right? I think they'll be fine, even if they stood pat this year and just kind of remain patient. I just don't want to see the Knicks kind of jump the gun and rush to get something done, right? Like, you know, like a Donovan Mitchell. The Knicks were in pursuit of Donovan Mitchell a couple years ago. Uh, This is obviously before the Jalen Brunson emergence and stuff. Donovan Mitchell very well could be available this upcoming offseason, right? To me, I don't think the Knicks should go and pursue that. I don't think it makes a lot of sense with Jalen Brunson and his emergence. I think that they're better off waiting for that right complimentary piece. Now, I do think that the Knicks need another star if they legit want to win an NBA championship, but I do think that they're a team that hey, I could see them kind of stumbling their way into the finals. Like, unless something major takes place this this upcoming offseason, like, I still think the Knicks, healthy, are probably the second best team in the Eastern Conference. Now, again, it depends on, like, what does Miami do? What does the Sixers do? Do the Sixers land somebody? What ends up happening? But there is a lot of talk about the Knicks uh, potentially landing a Paul George. Now, a couple things about Paul George. One... The Knicks could have had him this past offseason based on reports that they were basically, I mean, the deal was essentially in their court. They basically could have just said, yeah, fine, we'll do it. And Paul George would have been a Nick. But they thought that his price, that the Clippers were asking for far too much as far as the the trade value and assets go, because there are a lot of questions with Paul George, right? So the Knicks, they may be a team that explores that this upcoming offseason. Now, I think Paul George does make a world of sense for the Knicks, right? Because he's a guy that I don't think he's necessarily your best player on a championship team, but they have Jalen Brunson. I think he kind of fits everything you need. He got good size, good length, good versatility, right? There are some questions and concerns about like, you know, the playoffs and whatnot, but also like he is a guy that was big for Indiana. You're in the East, you're in the Eastern Conference, so it'd be much easier than the West Conference. But also, like, even with the Clippers, like Paul George is a guy that he's not supposed to be the guy. It's supposed to be Kawhi, but Kawhi's never healthy. Where if he goes to the Knicks, Paul George would be the number two guy. And I think that he's a guy that could really thrive in that role. I don't think he needs the ball a ton. Right? I think he's a guy that can play off of Brunson because you don't want to get somebody that's gonna you know, basically take the ball out of Brunson's hands or be an awkward fit or not, you know, work properly. And you got to you gotta look at it in the sense of the rest of the roster, right? Chances are you're probably trading Julius Randle. It's probably what's happening because I don't think you're going to trade OG. And you're going to want to keep, like, the Villanova guys. Right? So you're going to want to keep Josh Hart and even Chenzo. So you're probably looking at something, you know, like a Julius Randle, maybe a Deuce and you know, a couple picks or something to go land Paul George, right? Because you can make the argument like, hey, he's going to leave you, right? You could just go and sign with the, you know, the the Sixers or something. We're willing to actually pull a trade and, and bring them and put them in a Knicks jersey, right? That's kind of your argument. And I think if you lose Julius Randle, that's fine. One, you know, there's a lot of questions about Julius Randle in the playoffs. I mean, Julius Randle last, not this season, because obviously he was injured, but the previous year, he was like, unplayably bad in the playoffs, right? And I just think Paul George gives you more versatility and just better defense, especially out on the perimeter. I mean, you could go a multitude of ways, right? If you had Paul George, you could go big and have like, because the beauty of PG is he can play basically two through four, right? So you could line him at that, the two guard alongside Jalen Brunson. Um, More likely than not, my guess is they probably go something like a, like a, you know, a uh, uh, Brunson, Hart, OG, Paul George, and then like a Mitchell Robinson or something. I mean, that's great, right? I mean, Paul George with that lineup, you got defense, you got rebounding, you got hustle, you got size, you got versatility, right? You got multiple guys that could just go put the ball in the hoop, right? Like, I just think Paul George makes a world of sense because that's the thing. Like, the Knicks need somebody 
because you can't just get any star, right? Again, like a Donovan Mitchell. What does that look like? It's talking about a guy that's very similar to Jalen Brunson that needs the ball, right? That that is more of a bucket getter and, and aggressive with the ball, right? Like I just don't think that that works. Same thing with like a Trey Young or a DeJounte Murray or any of these other names that are kind of out there on the market. I think another solid guy would be like a Laurie Markkinen or whatever. But, you know, I don't think he's... like If you want another star star, like Laurie Markkinen's great. Don't get me wrong. But I think if it's like you could have Paul George or you could have Laurie Markkinen, I think you go with Paul George because, again, he gives you that defensive versatility. Still one of the best on-ball defenders in the league. He's got good size. He's just... He's one of the better difficulty shot makers like he can create for himself he can create for others he doesn't need and demand the ball like he's comfortable being you know the the number two guy but on any given night he could step up even in the playoffs you're probably gonna have that Paul George game where he just lights up a, a team that he's playing he's also playing in the east so with Paul George you probably walk to the conference finals right it's probably just you and the and the the uh Boston Celtics right you also keep him from the Sixers which yeah, you know, if the Sixers don't land somebody, does Joel Embiid go get me out of here, right? So then maybe you cause this absolute just stir in that regard. Like, it just, there's a lot that I think the Knicks can benefit by going and getting a guy like a Paul George. I just think that he he makes a lot of sense alongside. Like, obviously somebody like a Kevin Durant would make the most sense. But I think if you're, if you're talking about, like, who would be a close set, I think it's Paul George. Because I just, I don't think Kevin Durant's going to be available. Now, there are talks that, you know, Paul George is expected, that some believe that Paul George is expected to to stick with the Clippers. Obviously, the Clippers could pay him the most, but they have yet to offer him a max once. I don't think that they're just going to magically decide, like, okay, let's pay him a bunch of money, right? Like, clearly, they're not super high on giving him that. Now, I don't think that they just want him to walk to the Sixers, which is why I think the Knicks could make a lot of sense, right? Because it's like, hey... Paul George is just going to go leave and go walk to the to the uh, Sixers. So you could either lose him for nothing or trade him to us. Now, obviously, they got to get the confirmation that Paul George wants that and is willing to, to stay. But I think Paul George just wants the money, right? So if you're the if you're the Knicks and you're willing to pay him, then I think I don't think you'll have the risk or concern of losing him. I think it's like okay, we get him, bring him in, pay him, we're good, right? And it's like. Well, what would you rather do? Would you rather just let him walk and now you get nothing? Or you have to pay him a max, which you're not super high on paying him on? I like, wh- what do you want to do here? How do you want this to go? And I just think that the ball would kind of be in the next corner. They have plenty of assets still to go and make a trade and go make a move for a guy like Paul George. And again, I think like, you know, Jalen Brunson, Josh Hart, OG, Paul George, and Mitchell Robinson, if that's healthy, if they can stay healthy... I mean, good luck. Seriously, I, that, that, it, that, to me, that sounds like a championship-level team. Obviously, it depends on health, and it depends on like what you get from Paul George and stuff like that. But again, I, don't, I just don't think there'd be as much pressure from a playing standpoint, right? Now, obviously, from you know a Nick fandom and media and, and news outlet and all that stuff, there's definitely a ton of pressure. But I also think he would just be so embraced by by, you know, the Knicks fans that, you know, because I think many Knicks fans would know, like, hey, if if we can, if he's right and he's good, we, we might actually be able to do this thing here, right? And then if you do that, I mean, you live forever in infamy, right? At at, at that point, I mean, you're rock stars, right? You're, you're superstars. Uh, now you have, if you bring a championship to the Knicks, or even get to the finals for the first time in, what, it's been like 30 years or whatever it's been, it's been a long time since they've even just gotten to the finals. And I just think Paul George would make that perfect compliment. Obviously, there's a lot of questions. You know, obviously, his injury history. Can he stay healthy? What does he look like in the playoffs? All of those things. But I just think if it works, I mean, you're you're in great shape. And I mean, in my opinion, obviously, I'm sure Nick fans and you know, people in general, like, you want to win as many championships as possible. But if you even just get one Right during this, like Jalen Brunson, let's say again, you get Paul George, Paul George time. Uh, you you did your job, right? Like that, you're talking about something that hasn't happened fifty years, right? So it's like, yeah, uh, I, I just I just think that would be the right approach. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion. Best question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? 
Uh, do you like the idea of adding Paul George to the Knicks? Do you think, no, you go a different direction? Again, it's also about what's available, right? Again, I think like Kevin Durant would be perfect, but I don't think he's really available, right? So uh, it's about who's really available and who makes the most sense. Um, do you think Paul George makes the most sense? Like we know Paul George is probably available. Right, so do you like that? Do you like the idea of also keeping him from Philly, and so that way you don't have to worry about Philly if it does work out with like Maxi, PG, and and Embiid? Right, it's just another threat. Right, it's another more competition. Um, do you think that they should go elsewhere? Do you think maybe they should go after Donovan Mitchell or something? Uh, again, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said. If you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. Let me enjoy these types of videos. Truly appreciate it. Not subscribed to the channel? Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one.